absolutely. Perfect. Let me set this up real quick. You can already see the Vincent Dutrait art in the. Yeah, I'm loving that. Um, so, give you a quick little overview of the art project, the game, another game that we're very excited about. Uh, Pre-production copy, so you know all this stuff is in development and not final. Okay, so this is the art project. This is a brand new game from our friends at Lumberjack Studios that will be available at Essen 2023. The art project is a one to six player game where the white hand, no relation to the black foot, mm -hmm. have stolen a bunch of priceless art and it's your, your, your team's job to reclaim it. So how are you going to do that? It is a cooperative game um, with a little bit of hidden information and, and resource management um, and card play. So re the resources in this game are very tight. You know, there are three types, fuel, which help you move, guns, which help you with the fighting in the game, and then walkie-talkies, which help you recruit allies and things like that. Turn structure, incredibly simple. Everybody will have two cards in their hands, and they have to play one. You can't tell other players exactly what are on your cards, but there are no turns. So you guys are talking with each other about what cards you want to play when, because you have to make the most economical decisions to maximize your turns, right? So let's use this card as an example. Here, you would spend one fuel, the white hand would show up in this space, and you would get a gun and a walkie-talkie. The final interesting thing about the cards are this bottom symbol. That is a clue. Because after you play this card, you are essentially going to be building a tableau. And you want three of the same exact symbols to show up while you build this tableau, because that's going to bring a piece of art onto the board in the space that matches that symbol. Okay. If there's no white hand in the space, you can just move into there and reclaim the piece of art. Reclaim enough pieces of art and you win. If there are white hand tokens in the space, you have to essentially fight them off. And you perform a challenge, and every character in the game will have a die, and then you'll have to roll a certain number, and it scales and gets harder as it goes on. As so you, you can get claim more of them. Yes. yes. So All you right. can get multiple teammates in the same. So the questions and the decision space are: Do you have multiple teammates join you in a space, spend fuel and resources to get there, but you'll get their dice in your roll? Do you spend your walkie-talkies to to buy these ally dice to help you with a roll? Um, and things like that. So if you reclaim all the art, you win. If you ever... So all your characters have three health in the base game. Health is very unique in this game. If one character loses all their health, the whole team loses. But health is also a wild resource. So you can spend one of your health points to be a fuel, a gun, or walkie-talkie, but you're that much closer to losing. So it's an interesting ebb and flow there. Um, so really unique mechanic there. And then... If there are five white hands on a space, it becomes a lost city, and that's bad. If you ever have to put a lost city token on the board and you can't, you lose. If you ever have to put a white hand token on the board and you can't, you lose. If you run out of health, you lose. This deck of cards, if you run through this whole deck of cards until the game end space right there, you lose. So a lot of ways to lose, one way to win. Reclaim the art. Finally, something I love about this game, besides the, the table talk it brings, the art's fantastic, is the game will come with six unique maps, and they change the way the game plays. So this is America, and you can see that the different connections and other, other things. Every time you go through Dallas, you'll gain a gun resource, um, and unique things like that. One map I really love is the Nile um, in Egypt. And for this one, as you go up the river, it costs no movement. But as you go down the river, it costs movement points. So it's an interesting one. And if you have a lost city here and it splits up your team, because you can't travel through a lost city, you're in trouble because now your team's split. So very unique. Um, and the maps add a little bit more to it. So like this one, all the team starts here. And you're running around the board here. This is free movement. So really cool stuff. And like I said, like we mentioned earlier, like, you know, simple turn structure, a lot of depth in the game, a lot of variability in the game, and again, plays in about 40 minutes, which is awesome. Yeah, and also the sound like it has a single player yes. as well. Yes, yeah, it does have a solo mode, which is fantastic, you know, and not too much rules, changes, and things like that, which is really nice. Yeah, I, I have a few friends who definitely are in kind of the, 
you know, every game they can get that has, you know, like a unique thing like this, you know, that's also single player, you know, he's totally on board. For Absolutely. It, so. Yeah, and that's the art project coming at Essen 2023. All right. So a little bit longer to wait. Well, thanks uh, for your time. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this one because, you know, it's almost like a reverse heist. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm s This one I'm so excited for. Again, the, we're using these just to show, like, the really vibrant art, but it'll have uh, full boards. Mm -hmm. You know, have like actual boards and things like that. It's just in pre pro. Um, but yeah, super excited for this one. You know, and like I said, Vincent Trade Art's fantastic. Um, you know, so just some cool stuff. All right. Awesome.